those characters do have official voice actors. So hopefully they'll Watch patch out. it in later it's once everything Batuu. is resolved. Were they attacked by the abyss? No, wait. It looks like they're protecting a group of travelers. Over there. Do you see? You're right. That's a traveling group from that land. Could they be trading for something? Let's keep observing for now. Yeah, don't help the situation. Just watch the people in danger. That's helpful. We're glad you're okay. Given the appearance of abyss monsters all over Natland, you should cancel your journey and seek shelter at the stadium or one of the tribes. Th th thank you so much. I wish there was something we could give you. We don't expect anything in return. We were out on a mission and saw you being attacked. It was our decision to help. Why are you being so helpful? If you truly wish to repay the favor, you can keep this a secret. If anyone asks, just say you were saved by warriors from Natla. Oh, okay. We can do that. <laughs> but... We're not asking you to cover up our activities. We haven't done anything illegal. Our captain simply wishes to remain undisturbed. Nonetheless, the decision remains yours. If we wanted to keep you quiet, we would have employed a harsher Got it. We'll get going now. Did you hear that? They mentioned a captain. Isn't that who the Pyro Archon is looking for? Exactly. We could be onto something big. Still, there was no trade. They were just helping people in need. I didn't sense an ulterior motive. Who do they think they are? Helping people in need? That's not their job. I didn't believe the captain That's our job. said he wanted to save Natlan. But based on what we just saw, it's possible he was telling the truth. Maybe we've been wrong about the Fatui this whole time. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. That is not it. It's too early to say. Let's follow them and see what's really going on. Y'all have not met the Dotore. That man is insane and needs to be stopped so this is where they were headed looks tricky it's heavily guarded on all sides koichi wait for me here i'll go in and check it out oh no you don't how are you planning to get through all the guards look i can use this terrain to my advantage with our tribe's special way of getting around, I doubt they'll see me coming. You'll never see it coming. You'll see. That you still can't see anything on the inside. Me. What if you can't find persona. cover? You won't have anyone to watch your back if you go in alone. The more heavily guarded the location, the more valuable the secrets. Even if the captain isn't here, we can still figure out what the Fatui are planning. That intel is worth the risk. Ah, <sighs> fine. You're not gonna listen to me anyway. So let me come with you. That's even more risky. You've been running around saving people for days. You're already at your limit. I'm confident I can protect myself. I'm not sure you can say the same. At least right now. I can. <sighs> you really believe that? Fine, don't believe me, but you can't honestly tell me infiltrating a heavily guarded Fatui hideout all on your own sounds more reasonable. I mean, it would be if she was the traveler. You know, growing up, even if I insisted on doing something, it never gave you any trouble. I'm not sure you can say the same. Ugh, all right, all right. If we start arguing, this will never end. We can't let this opportunity go to waste. <laughs> Guess that means I win. Don't worry, you're not the only capable young person from our tribe. I can handle this. All right, same plan as usual. We split up, communicate with hand signals, make sure our blind spots are covered, and support each other once we strike. Got your ropes? Yeah, let's go.
I want to see this special way of getting around. So far, it looks pretty normal. The Fatui have eyes all over this place. I should wait for Koichi's signal. They all conveniently turn their backs at the same time. The hand signal, oh, I had to press a button. The signal is just a thumbs up. Not sure how many chances I'm gonna get. I need to act. Sure, jump down, it's my only option. Good. I made it without getting caught. I should get to that platform over there. But it's guarded by the Fatui. Ah, this is just like that section in Sumeru that I hated. Koichi should have line of sight. I'll wait for her signal. Yo, where'd you get a telescope from? A capybara! That's it. Now's my chance. Quickly approach the area underneath the platform. It's Such a wide field and they decide to sneak in this close. I keep moving. Yeah, I I don't understand. I also don't understand how that one Fatui who's literally facing this tree doesn't see the lady in the tree, not blending at all, just standing up and waving. How do you not see that, though? It looks like Chaska is helping me by keeping an eye on the Fatui movements. I'll wait for her signal. This is the special way y'all get around? Just working together? Thumbs upping each other? Time to move. Okay, go. Whew. That was close. Almost got caught. You couldn't have climbed down the tree, like the back of the very thick tree, in a less abrupt way. Probably can't make it over in one go. I'll wait for my next chance. Now's my chance. Okay. She can just Naruto uh, run up trees. I made it! That'll show my sister. Let's see. The Fatui's occupying all the best locations. If we could just get past them somehow. Wait, I've got it. What is that? Toss out the mysterious sphere. Sure. Did you just drug the capybara? She drugged the poor oh. innocent animals. What's that noise? Did something explode? Oh, it stinks. What did those capybara do to you? <laughs> what the heck is that? What do you think you're doing? I could ask you the same thing. Good, they're arguing. Looks like they just needed an excuse. They've probably had enough of this job already. The people on the hill over there left to help their comrades. This is our chance. So, the Fatui were trying to keep the peace and be helpful, and instead, people from Natland decided to force a scuffle? 
Seems wildly irresponsible. Come get me, Chaska. I hope she gets this hand signal. I hope she sees me standing and waving my arms wildly. That's Koichi's signal. <laughs> Smart idea. <laughs> All right. No, it's Time not. No, it's not. I thought y'all were gonna be hand. using like Quick. military hand signals when you said hand Coming. signals. Not this. I checked, and this <sighs> way is completely clear. It should lead us to the deepest part of this place. What is happening? Well, I was pretty helpful, right? You know, no. everyone usually jumps at the chance to work with me. Not my own sister, though. No, she avoids me like her life depends on it. You were... I, I don't understand how you weren't spotted in that tree. What kind of weird magic do you have going on that made the Fatui actually blind to your appearance? <laughs> I was wrong, Koichi. You've done well. You even disturbed the birds, but they still turned their backs on you. Wait, you're just gonna admit it? Now I look like the mean one. This is a prime example of how not to do a sneaking mission correctly? Yeah, I would agree. Let's focus on the task at hand. We're in the heart of enemy territory. The more time we waste, the more dangerous this becomes. I hope we find out that the Fatui knew they were there the whole time and they were deliberately turning their backs on them to be like, yeah, whatever. We wanted to talk to you anyway. So we figured we'd let you have your little, your little fun, your little fake sneak mission. And then we could just talk like normal people. All right, all right. If you're not going to take the bait, then I'll drop it. Looks like the Fatui are here to dig something up. I'm surprised they Ooh, mobilized that? this many people. I doubt it's because they're interested in our culture and history. I'm not going to forget that you need to go apologize to those capybara, ma'am. It seems like they're looking for a dragon relic called the Source Mechanism. How do you know what that's called? The device is ancient. Barely any information survives to this day. And even people from that land don't know how to use it. Why would this be the Fatui's target? And yet you know exactly what it looks like? Mm, not bad. Looks like it's in good shape. This should be what our Lord's looking for. <laughs> Took us long enough. Come on, let's get this thing back. Back? Back where? Should we keep following? You really want to keep going? Of course. We make a good team, don't you think? No reason to stop now. You were supposed to be the voice of reason, Koichi. Where has that gone? Hmm? What was that sound? Just two idiots. Don't worry about it, sir. Uh -oh. We've been spotted. Time to go. Yeah, you probably should not have stood all the way up. They definitely could see you from their point of view. Falling rock incoming! Watch out for your gadget! <laughs> I would... What? Yeah. You'll regret that! After them! You'll regret warning me about a rock. I'll get you. Once we got them off our tail, we went back to observe some more. They'd collected several identical pieces of something. What is happening, though? It looked like they were waiting, though. So we decided to come back. So, Koichi got injured trying to get them off your tail? <laughs> she pushed herself too hard and collapsed on the way back to the stadium. Well, I didn't cause you any trouble while we were fighting, right? So my perfect record remains. You've done very well. I could make a comment on knowing your limits, but it's not my place. I know, I know. I'm already reflecting on my actions. So, our current intel suggests the Fatui is after the source mechanism. The device is a complete mystery, even to us. <sighs> what does the captain want with it? I have no idea. But it's safe to assume the device could serve a similar purpose to the Gnosis. Shilonen, 
I need you to gather every scholar in Natland familiar with the secret source. Yeah, <sighs> I'll get right on it. Thank you both for your hard work. Koichi, it's time for you to get some rest. Oh, and there are gifts from your patients waiting at the speaker's chamber. I prepared a small gift of my own as a token of gratitude. I'll send it to your home along with the others. My patients. That's so nice of them. <laughs> Guess that means I'm doing something right. That's right, you're a doctor, and you still forced those poor innocent capybara to smell whatever was in your stink bomb. Rude. You don't need to give us anything, Arkham. What happened to do no harm? We're just doing our duty for Natlan. I should take Koichi home now. <laughs> Well, if Koichi doesn't want her favorite Saurus crackers, then... I want a Saurus cracker. Is it a cracker in the shape of a dinosaur? I want that. Uh, I accept. Thank you, Archon. <laughs> what am I gonna do with you? There's some for the rest of you as well. They're one of my favorites too, so don't be shy. I'll start investigating the source mechanism right away. If I learn anything, you'll be the first to know. A doctor with mysterious orbs, how does she treat her patients, I wonder? I want to know where she got the stench to put in that orb, and if it may have been taken from her patients. We are still in the same quest. Ah. Uh. Okay, bid farewell. Over there. Is there a closer teleporter? Oh, they're just like outside of town. Then I'm gonna walk around the edge of town. Because I don't feel like figuring out the layout of this place. I definitely just heard a rattlesnake. We're gonna continue on our way. I probably need this wood, hold on. What's next for you two? I'm taking Koichi home, with our parents there to keep an eye on her. I can make sure she actually rests. Hey, it's not like I'm some kind of prisoner. I'll be fine in a day or two. There's no need to go all the way home. That's what you always say. Everything's no big deal until you collapse. You know, this is fantasy, but that crimson-haired lady dress looked awfully complicated to put on. What if the Abyss attacks again? You're saying if I let you rest in a hotel, you're not gonna rush out the minute you hear the alarm? The black bodysuit? I think it just zippers all the way down the front. I won't. Triple promise I won't. Mm-hmm. Or do you mean this girl? Fine. On the off chance something like that were to happen, I might. But I'm a doctor. I have a duty to help people in need, no matter how hard or tiring the work gets. But what you were doing just now was not helping your patients. Look after <sighs> I yourself. I guess you're right. But I don't have to like it. <sighs> hey, at least she has a zipper all the way down the front. Unlike, um, I think in Greece, Sandy or whatever her name is, had to be literally stitched into her outfit. Imagine being stitched in and then being like, I have to go to the bathroom. And then you have to wait for someone to unstitch you. <laughs> this reminds Simon of when we first met, except you were the one trying to stop Chaska from doing something dangerous. I do the same for anyone trying to put their life in danger. As a doctor, I don't want people to get hurt because of a rash decision. Then try to see things from my perspective. 
You clearly want to protect your patients. So can't you understand why your own sister would feel the same way about you? The two of you are the same, you know? <sighs> I disagree. I understand the risks and costs of my decisions. Who wants to be like her? Overconfident, always making excuses when things go wrong. <sighs> I mean, that's literally what you did earlier, though. You ran out of energy on your way home, which could have compromised your mission. And then you made the excuse that, oh, well, you weren't fighting anyone at the time, so it's fine. <sighs> that's just not true. <laughs> you think I don't have proof? Okay, okay, don't get into another fight. Just pretend Paimon never said anything. Don't worry, Paimon. You didn't do anything wrong. Arguing is just how we communicate. Neither of us really takes it to heart. Yeah, I kind of regret seeing you off, though. So, on your way. Plus, I guess we are similar in some ways. <sighs> Maybe I rush into things without thinking. But I learned that from her. We're family. I can't help it if my older sister is a bad influence. <laughs> okay, you don't have to put it that way. Yeah, Chaska, everything's your fault. So, you're all good now? This is probably normal for them. Neither of us are really the type to back down. So we'll always have our differences. But still, we get along in our own way. I can see that. Plus, I know you'll wake up one day and realize I was right all along. I just need to wait. Be my guest. Come on, let's get you home. See you later, Traveler and Paimon. I'll be back once everything's settled at home. There's no rush. At least grab a nice meal with your family. See you later. Bye, you two. Take care of yourselves out there. Yeah. <laughs>